This is Luzerne, beautiful city in the heart of Switzerland. I'm always happy to be back here to enjoy the beautiful city center, the surroundings and of course the lake. Last year Karloff Bucher introduced a new collection called the Heritage Collection. And the first watch in this collection was the Heritage Tourbillon Double Peripheral. This year the brand of the beautiful city of Luzerne has introduced a new model in the Heritage Collection that was received with a lot of enthusiasm, both from collectors as the press. And rightfully so, as it packs a chronograph, an annual calendar and some really great looks. We're talking with Samir Madanovic, Head of Manufacture Movements at Karlov Bucher, who will explain everything about the new Heritage Collection. Last year you introduced, uh, you started actually the Heritage Collection with the uh, Tourbillon Double Peripheral and uh, this year uh, the story continues. But what is actually the entire idea behind the Heritage Collection? Everything started 1888 when Karl Friedrich Bucher opened his first boutique here in Lucerne, in the hometown of Karl F. Bucher. The idea behind the Heritage Collection was that we use iconic pieces which has been produced in the past in that long history and we choose certain speci specific or special models and we reproduce them. Of course, as we treasure the values of Karl Friedrich Bucher, so we wanted to give something back to our customers, which are also collectors of watches. As I said, we want to produce every year a new model, which is based on one of these iconic timepieces, and every year it will be just a limited edition, or a limited series of these watches. Since we launched the collection this year officially in Buzzerworld, uh, it was very interesting to see what happened afterwards, so our phone is ringing every day. So there are many people calling us and saying, hey, I have one of those watches and I would really like to know, to get more information about these timepieces. And this was for us like a confirmation that we did it actually the right way to launch this beautiful collection, these beautiful pieces, because there's a real story behind and it's really heritage. So you started the Heritage Collection in 2018 with uh, Tourbillon Double Peripheral. Uh, that's something very special for Karl F. Bucher, the, the peripheral rotor that you have in the, in the automatic watches, but now also uh, a peripheral uh, system in the Tourbillon. Yes. Can you tell me more about that? We decided to use the Tourbillon movement, which we launched last year, as you said, with the peripheral uh, automatic winding system, which is really the DNA, and as we are the leader of the peripheral technology, so we decided to integrate this technology in the floating turbio, and we decided to use that movement in a really traditional, classical, beautiful case, especially with that beautiful box glass, of course, which is made today of, of sapphire with uh, special coatings on it, and a unique detail on that movement is to give more uh, value to the peripheral system. As first we decided to produce the rotor in rose gold and the whole case back of the movement is made in white gold and on the plate you can see the lake of Lucerne, actually you can see the Schwanenplatz where everything has started 1888 and the small detail is in the water there's a swan swimming around <laughs> and on every single piece this one is in a different place. So that means every watch is, is a unique piece and uh, is fully hand engraved uh, by, exactly. by the artist. Exactly, so this is really handmade, it takes two to three weeks just to make the engraving of one plate and the watch is limited to 88 pieces of course combined with 1888 of the year of the foundation of Karl F. Bucherer. So we have the peripheral uh, technology for the, for the rotor, for the automatic winding uh, mass, but now you applied that technology also to the tourbillon. And we realized that with three ceramic ball bearings, made of zirconium, micro ceramic ball bearings, really small. Uh, what we also did for the first time, we made the whole cage of titanium, which makes it really light. And for the first time we added a uh, silicon escapement, which improved, of course, the power reserve. So today we can guarantee 65 hours power reserve with one single barrel. One other detail is what we added on that watch, as all our watches are officially chronometer certificated. So we add a stop second. So when you pull out the crown, the whole cage stops immediately, as this is a minute uh, turbio. So the 
cage of the tubule at the same time it indicates you the seconds. So you can pull out the crown, stop the whole cage, adjust your watch exactly in one second. When you push in the crown, the watch continues to run. So after that beautiful tourbillon, it was time to have something that sort of looks like it could come from the 1940s or the 1950s. It's the Heritage Bicompax. Beautiful watch. Tell me more. Exactly. As you say, it's the, it's, it looks like the 40s and 50s. As we all know, 40s and 50s, this was the time when the chronograph became famous. It was that function when everybody loved and wanted to use the chronographs. Uh, as I said at the beginning, the idea of the Heritage Collection is really to take use of that long and rich history of beautiful timepieces. So actually it was not so easy for us to decide which should be the next model. So we decided to, to make a new chronograph in the Heritage Collection, which is based on a beautiful timepiece produced in the 50s with the beautiful champagne color dial with the printed tachymeter scala and at this time of course there was a simple small chronograph without any additional functions and to get how to say use of the competence today we have so we got the inspiration for the case of course at that time it was much smaller watch two days 41 millimeter it's not that big it's actually the right size for a classical traditional watch but we added a uh, two counter chronograph, which we call the bicompax indication, with a big date, and it's not only a big date, it's an annual calendar. But visually it, it looks very nice, and I, I genuinely really appreciate how you uh, included the, the annual calendar in this watch. It just looks like a big date, but there's that little window to the side with, uh, with the month, and this way the design remains very clean and elegant and still breathing that same inspiration from the 40s and the 50s chronographs. Uh, how did you come to this design? The idea was of course first thing was to have this two counter bicompax chronograph and additional value to give a date and as I said it's a uh, annual calendar but for the annual calendar you need the indication of the month so we really put it on the side otherwise it's very difficult for you to adjust the watch. The idea behind was of course to get so much inspiration as possible from the 50s from the original timepiece when you take a look on the pushers they have the same design they have the same shape of the mm. case so everything is how to say it's, it's smooth it's it's nice it looks good proper 1950s pushers indeed in style wise the, the long sleek yeah uh, yeah and also also the corners you know you can see them this is really there's so many details and what i personally like at the most it's really the box glass yeah and the beautiful champagne dial with the tachymeter printed color so everything is printed to the time so it's really unique it's really original mm -hmm. This watch is limited to 888 pieces. And that means the one in steel and gold is limited to 888 and the steel with the panda dial is limited to 888. Yes, both of them are limited to 888 pieces and also here we can see the combination with the year of the foundation, 1888. Yeah. So I saw some original pictures of the, the one with the champagne dial, but the panda, that, that's very beautiful. But this is also coming from an an old watch from uh, the 1950s? Yes, actually, this is one of the beautiful pieces. Uh, we found them in the, in the, in the collection, in the museum. Mm. This watch has been produced exactly with that ponder design, so with the white grey dial and with the black counters in the 50s and 60s. So now after the tourbillon double peripheral, the chronograph bicompax, there's a beautiful platform to show us more beautiful watches that will be part of the Heritage Collection. But we'll have to wait until next year. Yes, as I said, so we will launch every year a new timepiece, a limited series of watches, and uh, the next one is coming next year in Basel. Mm -hmm.